Hey there guys, this is NDM here bringing you another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Forehead. In the last episode, we defeated all the Team Rockets in the Silph Co. And now in this episode, we are going to go ahead and take on the boss battle of the Silph Co. Who has been undermining and keeping these uh, poor civilized, all these poor civilians locked inside and not letting them out into their own, or to do their own thing because they are being controlled by the Team Rocket members. And uh, in this episode, we are going to. Yeah, that's what I said. I said I said in this in this episode we're going to go and do whatever. Oh crap! It's our rival. Um, I was not expecting this. I was not expecting this. Why are you here? Why are you following me? Uh, no. We gotta fight our rival. Well, bring it on! I'm not afraid. Gaius, what kept you, Angela? Gaius, ha! Huh? I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. I saw you in, Safra in Saffron, so I decided to see you if see if you got better. Yeah, I want to see if you got any better, bub. Boop. Boop. Oh, what's he going to summon? He's going to summon Pidgeot. And his Pidgeot is about to go down. Because I'm about to summon Flipper and it's about to burn your feathery ass. Down to the ground. I don't think I will be starting the sit. The sixth gym in this episode, because there is a certain other thing that I want to do before I start the sixth gym, which is going to be the last thing that I do in this video. It's the um, little, the little connector part to the seventh, the sixth gym, the part that I showed you that I was going to do before I started the sixth gym. But yeah, I'm going to do that after I've done this um, area and beat the boss battle. But this is kind of like a boss battle in itself. I mean, we're fighting a rival here. Uh, well. Uh, he's level 40 and I'm level 44 and I'm weak to a Blastoise because I guarantee he's going to use something like Hydro Pump or something. Um, well, let's try using Slash. And it did absolutely nothing and this is going to do a whole load of damage and I'm probably going to end up dying. Oh no, I'm not. Oh, that's good. <laughs> because I think he knows Hydro Pump at this stage of the game, so... That's why I kind of want to be careful on what attacks he uses. Yeah, he's just seeming to be using water gun all the time. Well, as long as you keep that up, I should be able to kill you. There we go, and it's a critical hit as well, so what bonus? We got ourselves a bonus. Growlithe, uh, well, I know what to summon for that. <laughs> Vaporeon. Good thing we have a water type in our party, eh? <laughs> Otherwise, uh, we would have been screwed. Well, no, not necessarily, because Charizard is also a fire type, so they're both the same type. But I have to move Surf. Surfing on the waves. Would you like to surf with me, Growlithe? Well, you'll be surfing in heaven now, because you are dead. Just uh, summon out. Um, flipper again, use the wing attack because I think wing attack is super effective against an execute or an executor whatever he has an execute, okay or flamethrower, yeah that works as well <laughs> uh, that's also super effective but I'll want to use wing attack but it still did the same amount of damage I think wing attack is super effective against those I'm not sure but flamethrower didn't do the job so I'm not going to complain <laughs> Abra, Kadabra, Alakazam! Alakazam is level 35. Well, your level 35 Alakazam is going to go down to the ground as I'm about to use Ember and it's going to burn your brain and burn your spoons. Have you ever done that thing where you can actually bend a spoon? Like, I don't know how they do it. They just, like, bend the spoon. Like, to make it look like it's bent, but it actually isn't. I don't know how people do that. Well, obviously, you can just bend the spoon by, like, um, sticking the spoon inside a drawer and then just bashing it with a hammer. That would bend the spoon. <laughs> Shove it in a drawer and then just bash the end with a hammer. That will bend it for you. Oh, man, so you're ready for boss. Rocket. Boss rocket? <laughs> Was he a rocket? Is he a gigantic rocket that's about to explode and blow up this whole entire building? Well, Angela, I'm moving on, on up ahead and ahead. But by checking my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. 
Am I a genius or what? I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. Angela, well, good luck to you. Don't sweat it. Smell ya let smell ya. Oh, I thought it was going to say smell ya later, because he always does, but no, he just said smell ya. That's why I kind of mixed up my words just then. Oh, hi, you're not a rocket. You came to save us. Why, thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. What did I get? I got Lapras. Do you want to give a name? Oh, this is where you get a Lapras. Right, okay, I thought you got a Lapras from the Safari Zone, but nope, you don't. You get him from a trainer within the Silp Co. It's a Lapras. It's a very intelligent Pokemon. We kept it in our lab, but it will be much better off with you. I think you'll be a good trainer for Lapras. It's a good swimmer. It'll give you a lift across water. Yeah, I've already got a Pokemon that can give me a little, uh, give me a lift across water. So that's not. So, Lapras's services are no longer required, even though I've just obtained him. So I don't know. His services aren't required. <laughs> I guess you would say. Stop right there! Don't you move! Don't you move a muscle! I'm Medusa, and I'll make you into stone. <laughs> wow, that sounded like I was constipated just then. No, I'm not even gonna make that noise. That's just, just, just stupid. Just, 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 just stupid. Slash. This, this, this is the last, pretty much the last Team Rocket train that we need to fight before we fight the boss. But I was surprised that we actually had to fight our rival just then. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> Using Ember, I guess. I'll uh, take it down, no problem. Mr. Elefante is dead. <laughs> I like that word, Elefante. <laughs> it sounds awesome. That's the way it rolls off the tongue. Elefante. Marowak. It's gonna get slashed. Pink. Oh no, I didn't even kill it. Damn it. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Yeah, well, I'm gonna ember you until you burn, until you die. I've already beat your Cubone, while well, the mother of all Marowaks in uh, the Pokemon Tower. Where I had to use the was it the Silt Scope or something? But anyway, we're inside. We're inside the boss room, guys. And here he is, <laughs> uh, Angela. So we meet again. The president and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters, or experience a world of pain. <laughs> Me experience a world of pain, sir. I think you're talking to the wrong person here because you are going to be the one that's going to be experiencing the world of pain. Me because my Pokémon are so much more powerful than yours. And look at that, a level 37 Nido Rhino. Oh, how cute! It's gonna die by my Ember. Almost, <laughs> almost. Oh, his poison sting's definitely not. Oh, he got a critical hit. A critical hit with a poison sting. How very interesting. It didn't even do that much damage anyway. Even if it was a critical hit. If it wasn't, it still do less damage. <laughs> I mean, that didn't even do nothing to me. Even though I'm now on the red, but that doesn't really make much of a difference. I can still kill it. Or I can still beat this trainer. No, I can't. Ah, shit. Rock Blast? That doesn't sound good. It's super effective. Oh, no. Curse you, Rhyhorn. Well, uh, how about a taste of your own medicine? I'm going to use super effective moves against you, such as Surf. So you can kiss my left butt cheek, you stupid Rhyhorn. <laughs> wonder what other Pokemon he has. I think he might just have all ground type. Yeah, I think Kangaskhan's also a ground type, so... You know, just keep on using Vaporeon, I guess. And we should be able to get through this battle A-OK. -okay. Oh no, it's not ground. It must be ground and grass, I'm guessing. I, or it might be just a normal type, I'm not sure. And there's nothing really super effective against a normal type Pokemon. <laughs> That's the problem. 
Yeah, Vaporeon, you're not going to do much uh, help, or you're not going to be of much assistance, so I'm just going to summon Raichu to take you down instead. Oh, crud. Well, at least he's paralyzed, so at least I have more chance now of killing it. Because uh, 9 times out of 10, he probably won't be able to land a hit on me. Well, I wouldn't say 9 times out of 10, I'd say 5. 5 out of 10 chance that he would land a hit. Ah, crap. No, he did. He killed me. Well, Kangaskhan's are quite powerful Pokemon if you raise them up quite a lot of levels. So... Like, as you can see, it's a big Pokemon, and normally the big Pokemons are the ones that are always the most powerful. The bigger they are, the more powerful they are. The more smaller they are, the more weaker they are. Well, actually, no, that's not true. Because Celebi is a legendary Pokemon, and that's a very small Pokemon. But it's very powerful, <laughs> so I guess what I just said doesn't matter. No, the point I just made is completely invalidated. And we're fighting a Nido Queen. Nido King, it's your wife. It's your it's your wife. We're fighting while well, Darth Vader doesn't really have a wife in Star Wars. Well kinda. He liked oh what was the name? Queen Sc Oh god, I forgot a name. Ah Isn't it Pamela or Padme, yeah, it's Padme. Yes, yes, I remember. I remember now. Look, Nido King, it's your wife, or Darth Vader, it's your wife, Padme, the Nido Queen. <laughs> Probably making so many Star Wars references. Well, this, this is the first Star Wars reference I made in the video. So. I would say throughout the whole LP I've made a lot of Star Wars references because of this one Pokemon right here. <laughs> well yeah that's going to do a whole load of damage. Poison Sting. Uh. Cause I'm a poison type and you're a poison type. Good thing I ain't got any poison type moves, huh? Boss Giovanni. Oh, I lost again? Yeah, you lost again. Do you know why? Because you suck. You suck. You suck and you like it. Blast it all. You ruined our plans for Sylph. But our Team Rocket will never fall. Angela, never forget that all Pokemon exist for Team Rocket. I must go, but I shall return. No, Pokemon exist for a purpose and that sure as hell ain't you. And your friggin team of buttholes uh... let's go well we can actually access bill's pc from here and we can actually get out pokemon from in here what the hell <laughs> i never knew about this before um, i guess that's because the, the um, trainer back there gave you a lapras so if you wanted a lapras you can get it out now if you wanted let's have a look at it shall we what level is our lapras all the way down here. There's our there's our Zapdos, the one that we caught within two tries of trying. We didn't even have to use one single save state to catch it. Well, these are all the Pokemon we have at the moment. Our nice looking collection. Our Lapras, that's level 25. But yeah. So that's all our Pokemon. Anyway, let's speak to the actual leader, the president. Oh dear girl, thank you for saving Sylph. I'll never forget you saved us in our moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way, because I am rich. I can give you anything. Here, maybe this will do. Oh, we got ourselves the Master Ball! Oh yeah! <laughs> we got ourselves the Master Ball. I thought you only got that until the end of the game. I must be thinking of another game. Uh, you can't buy that anywhere. It's our secret prototype master ball. It will catch any Pokemon without fail. You should be quite, uh, you should be quite, uh, quiet about using it, though. Oh, quiet! I thought it said quite. The stupid grammar. Me being stupid, me talking too fast. That's what it is. <laughs> but yeah, we got ourselves the master ball, and I know exactly what Pokemon I'm going to use it on. And yeah, you're probably thinking 
but I'm going to be using it on you or, well, I'm not going to spoil anything. No, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, sh keep your mouth zipped. Keep that information confidential until we actually arrive to the situation of which I can then go and explain what I wanted to explain in part. Yeah, I'll be at like part whatever it is that I get to that Pokemon and I'll say, oh yeah, remember in part 42 when I said, yeah, there's that one Pokemon that I was meant to be using the Master Ball on? Well, yeah, this is that Pokemon. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be saying that. Wait, is any of our Pokemon dead? Because I don't want to go in here with dead Pokemon. Or weak Pokemon. Oh yeah, there are. We're pretty uh, damaged here, so we're going to get ourselves all patched up before we go into this. So there we go, let's get ourselves patched up. All healed. Nicely done. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. Why, thank you. We hope to see you again. I don't think I've actually spoken to everyone in this town. I think I just, just came in here and just went straight into Silph Co. aimlessly. And just went straight on in there and just did it. Yeah. I don't think I ever spoke to any anyone in this town, but... I don't really want to do that now, because I want to get some... Because I can get some productive stuff done. You know? Revive, Hyper Potion... Oh, we can actually buy Hyper Potion from here. Okay, so... Let's buy ourselves some Hypers. Hypers. Let's get Hyper on Potion. <laughs> All that caffeine and all that adrenaline just pumping through your veins, making you excited and focused, ready to take on the next gym. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. And we only have 876 poker dollars left. We are completely skint. We have no more money left to go and squander away on. We are much like we are in Animal Crossing right now, to be honest. We have no money in that game. Oh, is this going to be a double battle, like two on two? No, it's not. It's just going to be one on one, I guess. One trainer against one trainer. I like it. it means I don't have to have two Pokemon end up dead. <laughs> nah, these Pokemon are pretty weak. Uh, I think we can... I don't think the Pokemon in here are going to get as tough as what they were in Silk Co. Like, towards the end. So, we should be able to do this just fine. And if not, we can get ourselves some levels in this area, because uh, I imagine they'll give quite a lot of good EXP. So, as long as we get the good EXP, we'll get the good levels. <laughs> I mean, I'm already level th 45 on uh, Flipper, pretty much close to being now level 46. Four hundred ninety. Uh, primate, huh? Well, I know how to take care of that thing. <laughs> Flamethrower. Nine hundred eighty-eight EXP. Well, that's nice. We're almost close to leveling up to level 46. I think we might actually get two levels in here if we're lucky. For Flipper anyway. We might get him to level 47. Same level as Darth Vader. All depends how many Pokemon these trainers have. Because obviously that depends on how much EXP you get. Depending on how many uh, how many trainers how many trainers these Pokemon have because obviously for each Pokemon you get for each Pokemon you kill you get a certain amount of EXP and obviously the more Pokemon you kill the more EXP you get altogether as a total so while well, he's summoning a Machoke this might actually give us quite a lot of EXP well we'll find out <coughs> once we've killed it wow a thousand Exactly a thousand, actually. <laughs> Forty-six. Nice. I 
Uh, yeah, I have no fear for anything tough. I sh I shatter boulders for training every day. Well, if you shatter boulders for training every day, wouldn't your fists be literally broken? Or is your fists made of some kind of mature some kind or are you a robot yeah that's it you're a robot you're a robot and you can't feel any pain so you just shatter rocks with your mechanical hand without damaging it somehow <laughs> Aaron Samus Aaron it's Samus Aran, it's Samus Aran as a guy. Oh, I take your shoes off. <laughs> take my shoes off? Hell no, I'm not taking my shoes off. You'll have to force them off me. By using the force. Well, this is going to be easy. All I've got to do is just keep using wing attack, and these things are going down like bags of crap. They're just going down and down and down like dominoes. They're not even putting up much of a fight, really, are they? <laughs> I'm, I'm level 46, and these things are, what, level 31? I mean, well, yeah, they're not going to stand much of a chance, considering it's a manky as well, uh, the lower f evolved form of a primate. He's now going to summon a primate, so. <laughs> what level is this going to be, I wonder? Well, we've still got the boss to fight yet. So I wonder what the boss is going to have. Well, I didn't mean to use flamethrower, but whatever floats your boat. Still managed to kill it, though, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> you got a little flower at the back, how nice. <laughs> I am the Karate Master, I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Fwa! Oh, he only has two, really? Wow, for a leader, you really don't seem to be that powerful. <laughs> or to seem to have that many Pokemon on your team to stand up much of a fight. I mean, I thought you would have had at least about a full set. Obviously not. Well, mind you, the boss in Silph Co. didn't have a full set either. So, uh, I guess not all boss battles will have full set. I'm not even sure if the 8th gym does. But I know the Elite 4 does, I think. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> like, definitely. Hooah! Err! Uh, beaten! Uh, Angelo got 888 f Poker Dollars for winning. Okay, so... Now this is where you get to choose which Pokemon you want. Because the, p the two Pokemon he was using in battle, you can either choose one of them. It'll either be a Hitmonchan, or it'll either be a Hitmonlee. See? I don't really think it matters which one you pick. You want the piston punching Hitmonchan. I think one's more offensive and one's more defense. Obviously, this one's going to be the offensive one. So, um, but they're both as powerful as each other. But I'm not sure. Uh, you know, what, I'm going to go with Hitmonlee. Yeah, we'll go with Hitmonlee. Uh, I don't want to give Hitmonlee a name. No. Nope. Hitmonlee was transferred to box one. Alright, so, yeah, we got ourselves the Hitmonlee. I don't know if we can actually get the Hitmonchan. Um, <laughs> uh, better not be greedy, yeah. Because greed is bad. And we're not greedy, so, yeah, well. Maybe I'm not greedy. I tried to steal. No, no I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I'm guilty. <laughs> Alright, so you know what, guys? I'm going to end off the video. I'm going to continue on in the next episode. So, in the next video of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red, we shall be. I want to go and speak to everyone in the town and see if I'm not missing anything and then go and start the gym. So that's probably what I'll do in the next video to start off. Is just go around the town and speak to everyone. See how, see that I've, see if I'm not missing anything because if I am then I'm going to look very stupid if I'm missing something that I should have picked up or wanted to pick up. Or something that's useful. But yeah, until then, take care everybody. This is NDM saying thanks for watching. See you on my next video and goodbye.